much, Jason. I gotta go. But why? Because last week he told me that if people listened to me, that they would die of ear cancer. And I, I just gotta go. Yeah, last week he said that everyone was a trash, trash bag and that he was, like, the best. And, like, I'm like, bro, he's so weird that he... He's just so mean to everybody. Yeah, I was on the basket when we were on the basketball court last week. We we were, I was about to score our last point, and then he just bumped me and grabbed the ball and did it already. And he just shot the point I was gonna get. Ugh, I was so gonna make that, but then he had to steal the ball and had to be the star over it all. It all like, ugh. I'm so mad at him. I need to tell him what's what, but he would just like blow me off and no one would care. And no one even would, no teacher or anybody would believe him. He's too nice to all the adults, but I don't know. <sighs> oh no, here he comes. Ugh, you all smell terrible. Ugh, you're wearing that same old thing again. Ugh. Please, get a fashion sense. Oh, whoops, I stole the ball from you last week, Trevin. Huh, whoopsies. I guess you're just really clumsy on the basketball court, huh. You guys are all such losers. You guys always hang out with the same person, you know, like, ugh, don't you get bored of them? They, they smell so bad. Ugh, you smell bad. Did you just go to the sewer? Ugh. Ugh, you guys don't matter. I need to get to class. Excuse me. Ugh, you guys are so mean. You guys are always in my way. Ugh, same old people. Move. We will learn about the Revolutionary War today. Anyway, so... Sorry I'm late again, um, teacher. But I did bring you a chocolate and strawberry cake. Because I'm late. I made it by hand. You're welcome. Anyways. I ran all the way here, yeah, so, basically, yeah, I'm so sorry, teacher, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Trevin. How can I be mad at this? Anyways, anyways, as I was saying, we will be learning about the Revolutionary War. That is it, class. Um, well, the bell's not working today, so, yeah, I have to, you know, watch the clock, because, well, apparently, that's always fun. So, yeah, classishness. Oh, and Trevin, can you stay behind, please? Yes, teacher? You need to start being on time more. I can tell that you're kind of struggling on getting here on time, but you should at least try... A little bit more harder wake up a little bit more early i know that's asking probably a lot from you so um just set your alarm i guess a little bit more early and you'll be just fine and you don't have to bring me cake every time you're late yes teacher i'll try to do that and i will start i'll keep bringing cake because i'm such a nice person anyways thank you teacher bye ha huh. See, I'm the favorite. You guys are nothing. You guys don't give anything to the teachers. You don't probably even do anything for teacher appreciation week. Huh. I'm the favorite student. You guys are nothing. Hey, Mom. I'm home. Ah, uh, Trevin. Yes, Mom? I'm going to need you to help me prepare dinner. We're going to have a guest coming over, so I'm going to need you on your best behavior. Of course, Mom. I can help you with um, preparing um, with dinner also, so what do I need to do? Come right this way, and I'll show you what you can do. Okay? Let's go. Okay, she'll be here any minute now. Who? That must be her. Welcome. Please, um, you can have a seat right here. Oh, that would be lovely. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Mrs. Peterson. Um, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, yes, and this is my daughter, Savannah. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Here, can you help me with, um, the gravy? I haven't finished that yet. Oh, yes, of course. My grandmother made the best turkey gravy. I can help you out with that. And I can show you if you'd like. Here, Savannah, you can play with Trevin. He can show you around and he can show you some cool stuff. Um, so I will be helping with um, Miss Simnia um, within the kitchen. Is that okay? Yes, Mom. Great, come on. Here, Trevin, show him your cool action figures you used to have when you were little. All right, Dad. Right this way, Savannah. Over here, Savannah. Wow, you have so many nice toys. Yeah, I guess they're alright, but I don't really play with them. They're for babies, after all. Like you. Yeah, only babies play with these things now. You guys, you're such a baby, you know? Why would you actually want to play with toys? I mean, wow. You're just so annoying, you know? You just cry about everything, and when you don't get a toy, you just, like, cry until you get it. It's so obnoxiously annoying. Like, whenever I go to a store, you're just, like, crying. You... Ugh. You guys are so, like, your age people are, like, so annoying. So, stop crying about every little thing and grow up. I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. You cry about everything. You're probably crying right now. No, I don't have time for this. You're such a waste of my day and time. You're, and plus, you're just invading my space. So get lost. Trevin. Um, oh, hey, Mrs. Peterson. I thought you were in the kitchen helping my mother. Didn't see you there. Trevin, why would you say something so mean and so cruel to some poor person? I thought you were nicer than this. I can't believe you. I thought you were nice to everyone and just always had a smile on their face and was always nice to everybody and had sympathy over- I thought you were a good student, one who looked out for others, one who cared not only about themselves, but about others and what they felt. I'm so sorry, teacher. Mrs. Peterson, I'm, I'm sorry. I never really thought about what I was saying. I, I never meant for you to hear that. I guess I never realized that what I was saying would hurt others how it would impact others and change their lives. I'm so sorry. I know you're sorry, Trevin, and I forgive you. But you need to find the forgiveness from everyone else. Make it up to them with a slice of chocolate and strawberry cake. <laughs> of course, Mrs. Peterson. I will do it all. I'm gonna go play with Savannah right now. Oh yes, to answer your question before why I'm out here sitting here, I got a little dizzy, a headache, so I wasn't feeling really well. I was just a little resting, you know. Thank you so much, Mrs. Peterson. You've impacted my life ever since today and everything, every day before that. You made me realize my mistakes and I'm really sorry for all of them. No one's perfect. I know that now. I'm, I'm going to go play with Savannah right now, and I'm going to make it up to her of every mean thing I've said to her. Thank you so much. You're a great teacher, and you've helped me and, re and learned so much from you. Thank you so much. 